happy and healthy. There is a life I lead in this city. How beautiful is this, guys? Hello friends, welcome to my last vlog in South Africa before I go on my first contract as a flight attendant and after the pandemic and all that good stuff. If you're new here, hi, my name is Andy. I just got my hair done yesterday. I went to redefine beauty in Dunkeld in Johannesburg North and I think they did a very good job. My stylist Maggie did a very good job. I'm still going makeup free for the most part but I did my eyebrows and I put a little bit of eyeliner and mascara on just so I can kind of look put together because I actually have a lunch date with one of my friends today I'm gonna go and have lunch at Melrose Arch with my friend Trisha who I haven't seen since pre-pandemic probably these are my suitcases that I have already packed the only thing I still need to pack here is my uniform and my frozen food which I'll obviously throw in the day I leave this is the outfit don't mind the slippers I'm, s I'm about to put my boots on my coat black jeans this is a long sleeve top and a scarf because it is freezing I'm gonna try to keep this pot short and sweet just because I'm supposed to meet Trisha at two o'clock and it is currently 1 30 so I need to get out of here I'm glad I get to meet up with a friend before I head out of the country and go on contract and stuff it's just nice to catch up with my friends and spend an afternoon with them but yeah let me stop talking and actually just Head out the door now. I'm in Melrose Arch. Old Town Italy. Old Town Italy. Sorry, my bad. And Trisha's here. Remember me? Remember me? We're just having our drinks. I got a the Claudia Cardinal. Claudia Cardinal. And I'm having a, a version of a cosmopolitan. I can't even pronounce the name. It's a version of a cosmo. Wait, I need my straw. Look at this food. Oh my gosh. Trisha got a pasta. Bolognese with extra mushrooms. Yes. Yum. Yum. And I got a, I don't know, it's like a big... No, it's like cheesy with basil pesto, artichokes, and I asked them to add chicken because it's actually a vegetarian pizza, but it looks so good. And this came like, what, like four minutes after we yeah. ordered? That was so quick. Yesterday was a lot of fun hanging out with Trisha. If you're new to my channel, I studied fashion design in... 2011 and 2012 and that's where I met Trisha. She was a grade above me. It was really fun getting to catch up with her. We went to Old Town Italy. We had some really good pasta and pizza. I even bought an extra pizza to bring home for Keegan because it was just divine. I think Keegan and I are going to go out for like a breakfast. I also need to get a COVID test done because you have to have it done within like a 72 hour window of leaving or something like that. A coffee. My breakfast. Oh, my breakfast. In muesli. It's Monday morning and yesterday I had to go and get my COVID test done. But the whole day while I was waiting for my results, I like mentally started having symptoms. Like my throat was sore. I thought I was developing a cough. I, I started having a headache and everything. And I was so worried. And I was like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Am I not gonna be allowed to leave the country? Like what happens if my test comes back positive? But I mean, obviously it came back negative. I don't know what my problem is. I just psyched myself out so much. It, it was nothing to worry about. I obviously was just being dramatic. It's almost nine and I'm actually at Cranfield to do my AVMED training. So that should take up most of my day. And then I need to stop off at head office to drop off some documents and also pick up some documents for me to take tomorrow. So yeah. Oh, hello guys. It's, um, I think it's about 5 p.m. now. We finished AVMED around 12. It was a lot of fun. One of the students there was from my previous airline, but he was Durban based. So I don't think I ever met him before. He did look familiar and he did say he thinks we have done one of our recurrence together before. But yeah, so I finished 
finished. I've made around 12. Went to the head office to drop off that paperwork and also grab other paperwork that I needed to grab. My my uniform pants finally arrived. I also was able to pick up my cabin crew license. I'm trying to show you without like showing you too many details, but I picked up my new cabin crew license, which is now a card. I'm so used to having this book as my cabin crew license with all the information about everything. Now we have a card and we have to like register online somewhere to get all the information and stuff. But because I am dreadful at keeping things safe, I'm just gonna keep my card in my actual license because then it will not get lost. <laughs> I went and I got my immune booster drip, happy and healthy, just so that, you know, my immune system is good because I am like, you know, gonna be back on a plane now and then there's nothing else really left for me to like pick up or do or anything tomorrow will just be my last bit of packing and then i guess we'll be off to niger getting ready to leave have one big suitcase my cabin bag my laptop bag and another big suitcase in the back seat because you know I've been running around doing all the last minute prep things we had to get here super super early because I've had trouble checking in their system was just offline or just not working I don't know what happened but I couldn't check in online so we got here extra extra early we were here at 5 p.m. already and my flight only takes off at 11 30 I think I was the sixth person in line Keen and I went to dinner, we went to Ocean Basket and that was so yum. And then I said goodbye to him. I just went through security and customs now and it's just after eight. So I've got like two and a half hours before boarding even starts. And I don't know what to do with myself. Jeans, my tackies, I have my laptop backpack. I will change into uniform on that last flight but I just need to be comfortable and warm on this one at least. It's e it makes my life easier if I change into uniform just before I land so that I'm easily recognizable to like my base manager and stuff when I get there because it's someone I've never met before. I think I'll just montage a few clips now and in a few short moments for you guys, I will be in Niger, but for me it'll be after like a 12 plus hour travel day and I know I will be looking like a hot mess when you see me again. <laughs> On a Friday morning, new look, still can't hide my born. I got a pocket full of change ups. I switch hit, I'm a strange. Consistent ain't something I could say well. Throw my change into the wishing for a change. Well, wish a day a swell life for the next come. And when the next come, pretend that it's the best one. Like I ain't even gonna try and say that to the next one. Switch my living situation every chance that I be getting sick of running laps on Sisyphus's treadmill. Man, I really need to sit still Seems like that ain't something I can instill Ebb and flow, I can hold on to you very much longer Might have to slip away Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you sit still for a little? Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you sit still? Teacher told me need to get that pencil up out of my nose Can't hold on a singular pose Switch from to the fro when the wind gon' blow And it's hurricane season everywhere that I roam I like quick fixes and not working at all Don't switch lanes, drive my car straight off of the road I got split personalities inside of my soul Each day I find a new one to hold Ebb and flow, I can't hold on to you very much longer I'd have to slip away Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you sit still for a little? Can't you sit still for a little bit? Can't you 
sit still for a little Can you sit still for a little Yeah, it's very overcast today, but it is still humid, so I'm feeling pretty hot. I think it's 36 degrees here today. But hi guys, I have made it to Niamey, Niger. The base manager picked me up from the airport, him and the driver took me to the residence. We first dropped off my frozen meat in the crew house, the crew apartment. I got to see the apartments and stuff. But where the cabin crew stay, it's a two bedroom. There are two cabin crew there right now. And the lady that is my line trainer that's gonna be signing me out and stuff is still there. She has to stay an extra seven days in order to do my training flights and stuff. So she's gonna leave next week, which means that for the next week, I have a hotel room. There's the door over there. And as you walk in, this is what you see. We have a little desk area over there, a seating area over here where I guess I can eat. I've already gone ahead and turned the aircon on. And then this is my bed. I'm pretty sure this is a king. This is huge. And then on this side, we've got a huge TV. We have a full size mirror. And then we've got, like I said, the aircon, little space to hang stuff, little luggage area. Um, there's even a closet here, which is nice. And then in here is this little sliding door. And you walk in and this is the bathroom. This is a huge, huge bathroom. But this is the bathroom and this lovely big shower that I'm very excited to get into. Just outside my door and look what I walk into. Look at them. All the peacocks. Oh, look at this guy. How beautiful is this, guys? Hello. There's also a pool area, and this is like a very big pool. This is the dinner area, they're just setting up. And that's a nice chill area where you can sit there. The pool is up there. I'm ordering dinner and the menu is just full on French, so let's hope I find something good. Last night I had my one flight from Joburg to Addis. That was like a five and a half hour flight. It was chock a block full we landed in addis at like 5 a.m this morning and then i had a four hour layover at the addis airport and then from there we did the flight coming here but that was split into two flights it was first a four hour flight from addis to jamina chad which is where i did my last contract so it was so strange seeing Jamina again. I was like, oh wow, I used to like literally fly here all the time. And then we were on the ground for an hour. Some passengers got off. I guess we were what you would call through passengers or transfer passengers. And we continued on, on another two hour flight to Niamey. And we landed here. I don't know if my time has updated yet, but as far as I know, it is currently 4.40 p.m. right now here it is 5 40 in south africa so we're an hour behind south african time dinner has arrived they just dropped it off at my room i also got a coke thank you guys very much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it i'm just really counting my blessings right now i hope you all have a fantastic day further please continue spreading good vibes and being kind to others and i'll see you all in the next video bye